So welcome to the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at how to create multiple points. Multiple points are created by, you can either use the number um, where you get the number input or the integer input where you input many numbers and in integers. Or we are going to look at something called the range, okay? A range node just generates a list. So in your Civil 3D Dynamo, open up Civil 3D Dynamo while we stopped. And what you're going to do is we are going to open up in the list, look for generate and look for range. So we have a range here. And what we are going to do is we are going to generate a range. Okay, so I'm going to just take this off a bit. Okay, and I want to create a number of points. You can see it has already generated by default because everything is, um, there's a default value of nine and the step of one. So by default, it's the start is zero, the end is nine and the step is one. That's why it's generating numbers zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it generates something called a list. Lists are very important. They normally have, um, um, an index and the number. So the zero you're seeing here is the index, okay? The number where it's located and this is the actual number. So again, let's just feed in our own numbers. Um, let's start with this being zero and let's make this 50. And we want the steps to be 10, okay? So you can see it has created, but the steps are one. So you can see it has created numbers all the way up to 50. So if I make this 10, it's going to make them in steps of 10, as you can see, 0, 10, 20, 30. So it has created a list. And you find that most of the times we are going to try and get something from a list, okay? Okay, then to modify the list, we're going to look for something called index. You know now you can type in this. And we click something called, so we're going to type in something called index, and we click something called get item at in index. It's normally under inspect list, okay? So something called uh, get item at index. So for example, we want to extract the 40. You can say 40 is located at an index of 4. So again, we can bring the list in. This is still red, so we have to create something. So I'm going to just copy the code block um, for our case. So we have that and So we bring that, and what you're going to find is that it has told us, oh, the parameter is now, okay? So you have to be careful what you're using because the code block does not input that, okay? So you have to use, it has said something like, there's a parameter, there's an index issue. So it's trying to tell us that this index number 10 does not exist. But if I make this four, and I click, the error goes away because it's going to give us now number 40. Why is this very important? You shall find that most of the times when you're working with the scripts, most of them for alignments, you need to extract maybe a given chain edge, you need to extract a given description, a given parameter, and getting the lists and then playing around with that is very important. So it's very important to um, know how to do this. Okay, and now you can see the more we change them. So for example, we shall say, let's make the steps um, let's make the step two, okay? So we have a much longer list and we now have number eight. So you can set four, there's number eight. So what this has done is it has generated a number of points, okay? So again, we can go back here and we can make some values. Um, let's make them zero. Let's make this zero. Um, some values, let's make this zero. Let's make this Z zero for now and just input a range, okay? So I'm going to just get this range and input it here. So you can see we've created a number of points that are, okay? And if we go to geometry, we can move these points. You can see the points are located along the X, okay? Let's go back to the node view. 
and you can now create a line from those points okay we shall look at how we can create line from multiple points um, but then you can do a number of things because it has produced a number of points okay and let's go here okay it has created a number of points there's one node where we have to put this so let's again go it's concrete most of the times you have to click this to to get back and we've created two nodes and they've created a number of points now something you have to look at here is um you have to be very careful okay because at the end of the day what we want to do is we want to create a number of points and we want to give them something okay so i'll show this later so now what i'm going to just do is i'm going to just disconnect all the nodes and what you're going to look at is um, just creating a number of points so uh, the others are going to be default by zero so i'm going to just move this here and disconnect the list okay So again, if you look, we've created uh, points with, with a varying X, but the Y and Z is very different. Okay. So we could create something very important with this. Um, okay, I could delete them, but I'm just moving them away. So I'm going to create something called like how do we move points in the z the number of ways we can again add another slider here we are just copying okay and the moment i add a slider to the z let's say 10 look at what happens okay the points move up the line okay so they they move up kind of on the x okay so you can move the points there and we can do this to, to the Z, okay, also. So we can move them in the Z direction by five again. And if we go back to the geometry view, you can see the points are going to be up by five, okay? And if we want to have more points, it's even much easier. So all we just have to do is just increase. We just have to increase, okay, let's click this. So all we just have to do is just increase the endpoint. So if we say 100, you can see we have more points, okay? And if we increase the steps, I don't want to increase the steps. Maybe then make it five to just have more spacing, okay? So you can see the points are located exactly at five, at five units. So if I'm just to get this and rotate it perfectly so that it's shows us we can see that okay now i want to make this quite very interesting i want this to be a bit bouncy okay i want to make it like a sine wave okay so let's just do some mathematics here and before we generate the list let's do something very interesting okay so we're going to get something called maths and functions um this is very important because when you just want to create something called a sine wave and this just shows you how you can control and move other things so let's look for the math function so there's the sine function okay so what we're going to do is sine requires an angle so i'm going to just maybe change this to angles from zero to something like 360 Cross maximum angles and let's go through degrees of 10 okay so we have zero up to 360 okay and what you're going to do is we're going to just create this and it's going to generate angle sign for the different angles okay and this is going to be amplitude so we can still make this the x okay and we make this the y okay so it's creating something but it's not so pronounced okay so let's go to the geometry view and let's do a fit because i don't see all the points which is good okay now I'll go back to the node view and I, I want to kind of amplify this 
okay? So for now, let me just remove the Z. It doesn't do much. So I'm going to just introduce a multiply node um, just to multiply this. Um, okay, so this is the multiply node. And I just want to get this number that I get and I multiply it by something, okay? So we get the Y and let's get this there and let's use something like five, okay? So if I increase this, you can see it starting to create our, our, our kind of sine curve, okay? Because I'm raising the amplitude, okay? So let me make this integer slider. Let me increase the steps to 300, okay, to make the line longer. So you can see the more I do this, the more I have a much more pronounced curve, okay? And this creates for something very interesting scenarios. Again, um, you can increase the steps to create the points. You can do a number of things, okay? So what we have done is we've created a number of points using a range. And from that range, we've played around with its amplitude and Z because at first the points were straight. And now we've made it kind of like a, a wave. And now we're going to look at in the next lesson, can we do this also in a code block and join it together so that all this is in one code block? So I hope to see you in the next lesson.